presents with a very painful swollen knee, it can be very useful to aspirate the knee. So that's uh, both as a diagnostic procedure, so we, if we aspirate and find blood, we've confirmed a hemarthrosis, uh, we can aspirate and send the fluid off for analysis if we think the, the patient may have an inflammatory arthropathy. The other reason uh, to do this is because it can make the athlete feel substantially more comfortable. So for example, if they've injured their cruciate ligament, their anterior cruciate ligament, and the knee is tense and swollen, it's extremely painful. And so by aspirating some blood out of the knee, it can make it feel a lot better. So to do this, you need to use the biggest syringe you can find. So I like to use a 50 mil syringe. Um, I'm constantly surprised by how much blood and fluid we can aspirate from a knee. So anything smaller than that, I think, becomes uh, tricky. We also want to use the, a fairly wide or large gauge needle, so I like to use an 18 gauge needle. So we'll just put those together. So when we're doing this, it's important to use a sterile no-touch technique. So first of all, we want to identify where we're going. So if we palpate the patella, we want to go just superior and lateral to the patella. And I use my fingers of the other hand to tilt the patella towards me so there's more potential space here. So I'm feeling just superior and lateral to the patella and using the, the needle cap, I'll make a mark, which we can aim to. So we've got a nice clearly marked target. Um, I use sterile gloves and I clean the area. So I don't use uh, drapes and I don't um, use anything other than an alcohol swab but I do cleanse the area. And when we're using alcohol swabs, it's important that we wait for the area to dry properly. So it's not sterile till the skin is dried. And then using the large needle, tilting the patella, I insert the needle underneath the patella and then slowly aspirate fluid. And so that can make a massive difference to the patient's symptoms.